Hi everybody, it's Tyson here with Denez Farms, and today I'm going to teach you about all of the new features for corn in Mercer County. We've got earlage, we've got corn 2, which functions solely as silage corn, we've got ear corn, we've got corn dryers, we've got corn cribs, we've got rolled rolled high moisture corn, we got everything. We, I'm going to teach it all to you right now, so let's get started. Start with earlage here, that's the big one that everybody's always talking about. Earlage is the process of putting a combine snapper header on the front of your forage harvester and harvesting only the ears of corn, which provides you with a high moisture corn that you ferment in your silo or bunker. And this is not only do you get the high moisture corn, but you also get a little extra biomass from the cob and the husk and whatnot. So you get a bit of a bonus there on top of the fact that you don't have to have extra equipment to process it. You already own a forage harvester. Why not make earlage? Uh, on top of that, if you're an old school guy, we've got a uh, we've got a John Deere 300 corn picker here, and corn cribs to go with it. I will be demonstrating that later in the video as well, and of course, uh, just a regular combine. Uh, you get, we'll be demonstrating what you can do with corn from there too. You got a few options, so let's get started with the earlage. So I've also got pull type harvester headers for earlage as well. These were these are converted. Uh, Corn picker headers. I've got a three row here on the FP240 and a two row here on the FP900. As well for earlage options, at the moment we currently have the John Deere 608C, the John Deere 606C, which is six and eight rows, and I also took JHHG's 612 and 712C and made earlage variants. So let's get started here with the earlage. When you want to make earlage, you have to use, your corn has to be fully grown. Fully matured, just as if you were going to combine it, but instead you're going to take the forage harvester to it. Right. Earlage functions using Maze Plus CCM mod, which is, in Europe, they call it cor uh, Corn Cob Meal, I believe it stands for. And uh, you can ferment it in a stave silo, harvest store, or a bunker silo. So pretty simple here, you just run your, uh, just run a special header. You cannot put this header on your combine, it can only go on your forage harvester. On the combine it will not function, that's due to a limitation with the game. So, as you can see, you got the raw product there, and that will go in the silo. Alright, so, once you've uh, harvested your earlage, the next step is to ferment it. When you want to ferment it, the best place to put it is a silo, or you can dump it in a bunker silo if you want, but you'll have to pack it down just like silage. So, uh, just like the just like the uh, corn from the forage harvester when we forage harvest the whole plant, just unload right into the just unload into the forage blower. As you can see, it's going up there. Next up, regular forage harvester. I'm going to demonstrate the silage corn here. Silage corn is called corn 2 in the planter, and when you harvest it, you get about a 50% yield bonus, which is a little crazy, but it adds up to simulate uh, higher biomass corn in real life. I believe it's 50%. It might be a little lower than that. As you can see, also by harvesting the uh, silage corn, you get the proper stubble on the bottom there. Whereas I just take the harvester over here and start chopping this uh, just this regular corn here. As you can see the yield is slightly lower and you can see that the stubble is different and it's incorrect for a forage harvester header. After your corn leaves the forage harvester you get this nice chopped up mixture of corn and everything else attached to the plant and obviously you you're going to want to ferment it and one of the best places to do so is a harvest or silo so all you got to do is pull your uh pull your forage box up to the unloader here and unload into it and the silo takes care of the rest so just like that remember you do need to buy a forage blower you only need one i'm using two because it's easier to stage the tutorial this way I'm going to demonstrate the combine standard combine does the same thing but you know 
it, what you get out of this, you can sell. It's high moisture corn, but you do have, you're better to dry it and get more money for it. I will demonstrate drying as well in a minute here. So combine works as normal. Corn comes out, right? All right, guys, we're back at the main farmyard here. And as you can see, I got a nice array of silos here. We have a shorter harvest store, three stave silos, and one large harvest store. The small harvest store is only for fermenting whole kernel corn, which is high moisture corn, which will then crush into rolled high moisture corn, which goes in your TMR mix. The other silos are all capable of holding haylage, corn silage, and earlage, and fermenting it. All of those components can be fermented and then either put in your TMR mix or fed directly to your cattle. So let's take a look at how to ferment the whole kernel corn as high moisture corn. So it comes, you harvest it with the combine and it goes straight up the silo with the forage blower here. So all you gotta do is just pull your gravity wagon or if you have a dump box and you can back it up here. Whatever you got, just pull her on up. And just start unloading. Pretty straightforward. So I'll touch more on that when we uh, do the TMR video, but I will show you quickly. This is the back side of that silo. You got your little uh, corn mill here and you just back your TMR wagon under it. If your goal is to sell your corn and make the most amount of money possible, you're gonna wanna dry it. This here is the grain dryer setup and it's one of only three on the map. I also have included placeable bins that dry the corn, but they dry much slower than this propane dryer here. And in order to fill these bins, you have to run an auger up to that little fill port thing there and uh, just uh, dump your grain in to the uh, auger there like this. So obviously we're gonna do corn here so I can show you guys how the dryer works. So as you can see, it's going up there and you just open your global company panel like this, find the one that's in operation here. You're gonna wanna buy propane, just like that. And now it's active and you'll know it's active when the steam starts coming out of it. If you still wanna do cash crop, but you don't have one of the farms that has the dryer on it, don't worry, I've included these bins as well. You got an eight, two 8,000s I believe, a 10,000, a 17,000 bushel bin. These will dry your corn, but it takes much longer. All right guys, let's take a look at the John Deere 300 corn picker. The John Deere 300 corn picker is a pull type corn picker and the last corn picker John Deere ever offered. For those of you who don't know, a corn picker only harvests ears of corn and does nothing else with them. It pulls the ear right off the plant and puts them right in the bin right here. From there, you can take it to your corn crib and dry it. And then from once it's dry, you can grind it up or you can shell it and sell it or grind it up again, I guess. But you'd lose out on your cob and everything if you grind up the shelled corn after taking the time to pick it. The, uh, the 300 is also available with a two row header. If you really want to go that small, it's uh, the 244 header there. And here's the 300 itself. As you can see, it only takes 75 horsepower to run it. So let's give her a, let's give her a test run here. Very basic operation. Same idea as a pull type forage harvester. As you can see, the ears are just dropping in the wagon there. I'm gonna start with processing ear corn. So, you get your ear corn, you fill this, you fill your gravity wagon up, probably takes you all day, but you get it full. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna bring it over here to the corn crib. The corn crib is how you dry your ear corn. The, uh, the corn naturally just dries by just sitting out in air. And it'll, as soon as it's dry, you have two options. You can put it in your grinder mixer here and grind it up and uh, feed it to your cows. Or you can take it over here to your uh, your sheller and this will shell it into regular uh, dry corn which you can sell you cannot sell ear corn 
So you got to decide what you're going to do with it. Obviously, you can you can still you can still take your uh, you can take your shelled corn and also uh, put it through the grinder mixer, but then you lose about you lose almost half of your uh, your yield of food there because you're now out the cob and the husk and everything that would have went through here. All right, so once you've emptied into the uh, sheller here, you want to go over here and you want to. Guess you gotta wait for it to shell. Might take a minute here. It's kind of slow, but we'll just speed up time here. And out comes your dry corn. And like I said, you got two options of what you want to do with this. You can you can either sell it or you can grind it up with this and store it in here. Let's uh, grind some up right now. All right. So then you jump your dry corn into this thing, and you can watch it slowly fill up here. Got a little scale here that doesn't actually work, but you you can just see the percentage there, how full it's getting. So it holds about 4,000 liters, so it's almost full, close enough. So then I take it over here. And you can either put it right in your TMR mix, you can feed it right to your cows, or if you want to store it for later use, you just pull on up over here. And it'll unload into your, uh, your little storage silo there. So, in a future video, we'll talk about TMR mixes and why you need a corn commodity and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Not much longer to get the map done, and uh, there should be one or two more tutorials. And if you like this tutorial, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow the Facebook page if you don't already, because that's where the map's getting released. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.